<laughs> all right, you want to set this up? So, like, <laughs> all right, I wasn't going to willingly, like, say this on stream, but you know what? I don't care now because uh, basically, um, let's see, last week we went to the Auburn tournament, and after I won, I had told Tim that I was going to go to the strip club. And then, so he asked me just now, yo, what happened? So this is the story of what happened. <laughs> so we left the um, we left the tournament. It was like 8:30. It's about a three-hour drive. It was like 7:30. It was about a three-hour drive. When we were down to our last hour, Adam Perry called me, and on Saturday they had Hamacon. He runs an anime convention, and it's there's a one-day mini con that he's holding. And so that was going on on Saturday in Huntsville. So he was at that. He had a, at the very end, he always has this little panel that he does. And he's like the last thing. And it's pretty much him drunkenly answering questions. Uh, well, he basically, you know, Blake asked, the, Blake asked the question, are you going to a strip club with Marcus tonight? And, Bla and Perry was like, I'm not going, but you're going. And he called me up. This is during the panel. He's 100 people in front of him. He calls me up on stage, and he, you know, I answered the phone. He said, "Hey, Blake's here," and I just asked all hundred people if they should go, if he should go to the strip club, and they were cheering his name in the background. So, like, I had asked him on three separate occasions to go with me, and each time he was like, "No." He's like, "I feel like if I go, it's not me pussing out; it's me pussing in. So I'm not gonna go." <laughs> so, yeah. He is like, you know what, um, I'll come, but I don't have a change of clothes. And I'm like, I don't know why that matters, dude. Uh, but he's like, well, can I can I stay the night? And he's like, yeah, you can stay the night. All right, then I'll come for sure. So I was like, okay, I'll be home in an hour. I get home. Everybody that was going to go with us is there except for Blake. So I'm like, all right, cool. About 20 minutes later, Blake shows up. And I realized why he said he didn't have a change of clothes. It's because he was dressed as Death the Kid. <laughs> he had <laughs> from Soul Eater. <laughs> he had, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Uh, oops. Uh, that's yeah. He had. He didn't have the guns with him, but he had the headphones. He had that jacket. He took his like the feather stuff out of his hair, and he had that skull, that styrofoam skull. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, he goes to my house and is like, now I realize why you need to change your clothes, but whatever, dude, you can look like a G when we get there. So, like, I had told him, like, you know, I was like, all right, I'm going to get you, because this is your first time, I'm going to get you a lap dance, and you're just going to get the entire experience. Like, you know, lap dance, I mean, you're going to put you, you're going to sit up on the stage and, or by the stage and everything. So we get there, and we're, like, chilling out, and then uh, it's, we rolled like seven of us go, two different cars, which is the most we ever went with. And then, you know, Blake's looking around and he's just taking it all in, taking it all in. And then um, he ends up, uh, I was like, yo, Blake, whenever you see a girl, just let me know which girl you're most interested in and we'll get you the lap dance from her. So we're there for about an hour. Then he's like, Micah, I want that. I want the dance with Micah. So then we get Micah to come over and he's making small talk with her. And then, you know, I gave him the money. And I was like, all right, man, it's all you now. So <laughs> he, so they go upstairs, you know, to get his, his, his dance. And it was like two songs from 40 or something like that. And then um, he comes back downstairs with the biggest smile on his face. He's walking in slow motion, just like looking around like, yeah, I just did that. <laughs> and he comes over to the table. I'm like, yo, man, how was it? He just smiles and points at his face. And did you see my post on Facebook? The quote, verbatim. This is what he said. Like he, I was like, yo, so what, what happened? Well, at first we were making small talk because the first song was about halfway done. But this is what she said. He was like, so she said she was in the nerdy stuff. And I asked her if she played, or if she played League of Legends. And she said, yeah, and I told her I was plat one. Then she was like, she was like, do you, she's like, oh, so you're one of those famous streamers? And he's like, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> And then she rubbed her everything on me. <laughs> Blake, you're too good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, so like, 
We were just dying. We were dying. And then, uh. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say before that, too. So we get there, and then I, I, I take 20. I get 20 of Blake's dollars, and I was like, all right, we're going to turn these into ones. So then you're going to go up on, you know, go up to the stage. Uh, there was one cool stripper that, uh, she's, she's like the realest stripper we know, me and my friend. So uh, she came over and she was doing the whole, like, oh, like, you, what, you guys all came to see me, blah, 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 blah. And then um, she, she saw Blake. She said, what are you dressed as? And then it's Blake. He's just like Darius. Says the entire explanation. Instead of saying, yo, I'm a character from a, a, a anime. No, he's like, I'm this character from this anime that does this, this, and this. And, you know, she could tell she was bored. But she was like, oh, that's so adorable. This man holds up a finger and says, now look. I'm not as innocent as I look. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she ends up getting called to the stage. So I'm, I look at him. I'm like, yo, man, you know you're going to have to go up on stage. You, I mean, you're, you're going to have to go, you know, t tip her, make it random for her, you know. So then I, I was like, all right, here's what you do. You tuck in, you know, a bill in your ear or a bill in each ear, and then they'll think of a creative way to take the money from you. And then he couldn't, he couldn't figure out how to do that. It, you know, some people's ears are further from their head than others. Um, so like, <laughs> so like, what's up, Sammy? <laughs> you can picture that being Blake too, can't you? Yeah. Um, and uh. So he goes up there, right? And I told him, I was like, you, you got ten ones, pull out four, put the, leave the other six in your pocket. You don't, don't, don't use all your money right now. We're being cheap. So I was like, you know. Um, oh, that was Robert. And then so I was like, all right, you walk up there, and she's going to, you know, you sit down. Just walk up there, sit down. She'll notice you, then she'll come up and start dancing. When she does something that impresses you, throw out a one. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. She sees him. I swear on my life, she dances in front of him two minutes. He just doesn't move. He freezes up. <laughs> he doesn't move. The DJ's on the second floor, and he looks down, and he's on the loudspeaker, and he just starts heckling Blake. How are you going to try to look like you're going to make it rain, and then you just freeze up? <laughs> and then, like, we're just dying. Like, all of us are dying because we're like – and then he's like, y'all, his boys, y'all supposed to tell him these things. And it was just so funny because he was heckling Blake. <laughs> Um, and the last, the last, so like there's this big, big girl there, as in she's tall, she's probably like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, she's a, she's an Amazonian woman, let's put it like that, she's, no, 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 hey, her name, we call her Snoo Snoo, like, <laughs> from Futurama, um, her best trick with the pole is switching hands, she just walks around the pole, she doesn't, her feet don't leave the ground, all right? It's a big girl. They did the little roll call, so all the strippers were on, you know, on stage. And then they're, you know, then they're gonna walk around, hey, you wanna lap dance, wanna lap dance? She makes a beeline for our table. So I'm like, damn. Because I was telling Blake, I was like, as punishment, if you ever come with me, I'm getting you a lap dance from him. Because Blake is like, he's tiny. Blake is tiny. This woman is probably three, maybe four Blakes. Yeah. She comes up extra aggressive how y'all gonna be looking at the ground and not looking at titties and ass and stuff and we're like okay and then she starts talking to two of our friends on the side and i'm talking to blake i was like blake this is after he had just got his other lap dance it's like blake you want to get a, another lap dance you're gonna get me another lap dance i was like yeah man i'll get you another lap dance i'm just gonna get you a snoo snoo are you gonna pay for it i was like yeah man okay then i'm good so then she's like yo what are you guys over there talking about and I was like, hey, my man right here wants to get a lap dance. She said, honey, I'll crush your skull. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I just was like, yo. <laughs> like, I don't even know what she's talking about right now. <laughs> like, is she talking about the thing on his chest or his actual head? <laughs> and then, like, we just start dying laughing. And then, like, she, like, man, she knew she was a big girl. I always feel like that. And then, so, like. He, he, she was like, are you ready to go? He's like, yeah. And she's like, all right, come on a little bit. And then she come, he, he like uh, climbs over us. And then she grabs her, his hand. And then, like, you know, she's like maybe about almost a foot taller than him. She grabs his hand and then just brings it up and puts it on her titty. And then leads him upstairs. And then 
Two songs later, he comes down. His hair's all messed up. <laughs> he has a skull in his hands. <laughs> but he has that same dumb look and like walking in slow motion. And I was like, damn, man, did you get beat up? And she's like, no, nah, dog, she's rough. <laughs> and then like, I was like, did she knock that skull off? Or did you take the skull off before you got to dance? Nah, man. She knocked it off with her ass. 